Matt. Hey, pal. How are you? Matt Eels, yeah. just who I was looking for. Product manager of B&G. Perfect person to tell us a little bit about your novelty here. Yeah, so we're at Dusseldorf Boat Show and we're launching the first uh, public viewing of the new Zeus S Ultra Wide. So if you want to have a look, we can Absolutely. Uh, go Absolutely. Have a look. So we've got a, a typical install here. So a typical helm station for your cruising boat. So you've got your Zeus S chart plotter. Triton 2s with a pilot controller. Um, so nowadays, this is typically what you'll see on your, your cruising boat um, with a bright color display with all your charting and cartography and navigation and, and instrument data. So and then here, I guess we have everything at your mast. Yep, so this is the Nemesis 12 and 9. Typically, you would have these at the mast, but also in the cockpit of the boat, but multifunction in that you can configure them to display any data and in any format you like. Um, fully configurable, so you can have multiple dashboards and you can configure those dashboards into any layout you like really and be as magic be as creative as you like with the with the gauges and the colors and the and the data that you want and then we've got the zeus s ultra wide which is the the big the, news the news for this this show we got the 12 inch version and then the 15 as well so an ultra wide format this kind of ultra wide orientation of the screen might fit a little better into certain helm stations right i mean i've seen where you have your wheel and behind it not that much vertical real estate, but a rather wide piece of, yeah, I mean, of material, right? Yeah, I mean, if you look at that helm pod, it's wide right. and not deep. So this is be a, uh, an ideal product where you might place multiple products with just the one. So again, you could split, have the chart or the view split between a chart and instrument data. So I can very easily go to a full screen and get that ultra wide view of, the, of, of my charting data. It feels expansive. I have to say, like, of course, I know you can divide the screen as now it's typical to have a cluster of different screens, but having the ability to unite into just one large, very clear view, especially in charting mode, I have to say it's a totally different level, as you said, of immersion. Yeah, and I think it's going to be interesting to see how the boat designs over the in the future sort of evolve to incorporate these ultra wide displays position the, the display in the cockpit so that it's got the great viewability so the whole crew can feel involved in the in the experience of the of the electronics so that you can everyone's aware of where they're where we're going the route that we're following or the the charting information you know it's all there to see for yeah. everyone um and it's not just charting you know this could be your audio control it could be an ip camera um or it could be the radar. And the Vico so, Connect can go right in here, right? Yep, no, there's a full, it has the power and capability of showing Navico Connect with any custom user interfaces for the, the boat builders may choose to display. So again, it's sort of, I think it's gonna be interesting to see how these boat designs evolve to, to show, to make the crew sort of more part of the user experience. It's not just the skipper at the back of the boat that gets to visualize this data. It's also the rest of the crew as well.